Imagine you want to buy an apple, a crisp and delicious one. You have two distinct choices available to you. You can visit a lively farmer's market, a vibrant hub where prices change with the wind, and you haggle directly with the sellers to strike a deal. This dynamic environment with its constant negotiation is the world of the order book, or alternatively, you can opt to use a futuristic vending machine. You see the price displayed clearly, pay the amount, and get your apple instantly without any back and forth. No negotiation is needed, just a simple, straightforward transaction. This streamlined process represents the world of the liquidity pool. Both methods allow you to buy apples, achieving the same goal, but the overall experience is totally different, isn't it? In the crypto world, when you trade digital coins like Bitcoin for Ethereum, or any other cryptocurrency for that matter, you'll typically use one of these two fundamental systems. Centralized exchanges, popular platforms like Coinbase primarily utilize order books, while decentralized exchanges, often referred to as DEX, operate using liquidity pools. Understanding the core difference between these two systems is absolutely key to navigating your crypto journey successfully. So, let's break it down and demystify these concepts. First, we'll step into the noisy and bustling auction house that is the order book. Then, we'll explore the efficient and almost magical world of the liquidity pool vending machine. We'll delve into the inner workings to see what makes them tick, and carefully weigh their respective pros and cons. By the end of this exploration, you'll have a clear understanding of which style fits your needs and preferences best. Ready to shop the vibrant and ever-evolving crypto bazaar? Let's get right into it and begin our journey. An order book is a digital list of all buy and sell orders for a cryptocurrency. Buyers post bids, sellers post asks, and the exchange matches them. When a bid and ask match, a trade happens at that price. The last matched price is what you see on the chart. If there's no match, the gap between the highest bid and lowest ask is called the spread. You can buy instantly at the lowest ask, market order, or set your own price and wait limit order. Order books work best for popular assets with lots of buyers and sellers. This means deep liquidity and tight spreads. But for less popular coins the order book can be thin, with big gaps and wild price swings. It's efficient for big markets, but not always for smaller ones. That's where liquidity pools come in. Now, let's check out the liquidity pool, the magical vending machine of crypto. Instead of matching buyers and sellers, a liquidity pool is a pot of two assets, like ETH and USDC, locked in a smart contract. Users called liquidity providers, LPs, supply these assets. Prices are set by a formula, X times Y equals K. As you trade, the ratio changes and so does the price. Buy ETH with USDC and the price of ETH goes up for the next buyer. LPs earn a small fee from every trade, rewarding them for providing liquidity. This system, called an Automated Market Maker AMM, lets you trade any token as long as there's a pool. You can always make a trade, no need for another person on the other side. It's simple, fast and always open. The vending machine never sleeps, but the price you get depends on the pool's balance, not a negotiation. Let's see how these two systems compare. Order books really excel when dealing with high-volume assets. They thrive in environments where there's a lot of buying and selling activity. Like Bitcoin, tight spreads, meaning the difference between the buying and selling price is minimal, best prices, ensuring you get the most favorable deal possible, and real-time price discovery. The market is constantly updating, giving you the latest information. But they need lots of active traders. A healthy order book requires a vibrant community. For obscure tokens, order books can be empty and expensive. This can lead to frustration and higher costs. Liquidity pools guarantee you can always trade, providing constant availability, even for rare tokens, ensuring that even the most niche assets can be traded seamlessly. Thanks to the AMM formula, this automated system makes it all possible. The downside? Prices are set by math, not market consensus, meaning the algorithm determines the price, not human traders, so big trades can cause slippage. This can result in you getting a worse price than expected. With order books, you trade with another person, peer-to-peer, -peer, managed by an exchange. The exchange acts as a facilitator for these trades. With liquidity pools, you trade against the pool itself, peer-to-contract, on the blockchain. This is all powered by smart contracts. Order books require a trusted middleman, someone to oversee the transactions. Liquidity pools are decentralized and trustless. The blockchain ensures transparency and security. For beginners, order books can be complex, charts, order types, and spreads. It can be overwhelming at first glance. 
Liquidity pools are simple. Pick your assets, enter the amount, and swap. It's designed for ease of use. That simplicity has fueled the rise of decentralized finance. It's made crypto more accessible to everyone. Each system has strengths and weaknesses. It's important to weigh them carefully. The right choice depends on what you want to trade and how you want to do it. Your personal preferences matter. Next, let's see what it's like to use each one. Here's how the experience feels. Making your first trade on an order book exchange can be a daunting experience. It often feels like stepping onto a bustling trading floor filled with activity and information overload. First, you sign up for an account, go through the verification process, and then deposit funds. Then you're immediately faced with a screen full of numbers, charts, and rapidly flashing orders, which can be overwhelming at first glance. If you want to act quickly, you can buy instantly at the current market price. Alternatively, you can set a limit order at a price you desire and wait patiently for your order to be filled. It's a strategic game, sometimes stressful as you watch the market fluctuate. Because you're constantly monitoring the market, analyzing trends, and looking for opportunities. Now let's switch gears and try a liquidity pool on a decentralized exchange, or DEX. You simply connect your wallet, no lengthy sign-up process needed. The interface is clean and simple, designed for ease of use. You choose the tokens you want to swap, then enter the amount you wish to exchange, and you'll see the estimated result instantly, giving you full transparency. You carefully review the transaction details, and if everything looks good, click swap. Finally, you confirm the transaction in your connected wallet. Just a few seconds later, your newly acquired asset appears directly in your wallet. There's no waiting for orders to fill, no haggling over prices, and no added pressure. In fact, it feels more like using a simple currency converter than engaging in complex trading. The order book exchange is best suited for those who desire granular control and strategic order placement, while the liquidity pool on a DEX caters to those who prioritize speed, simplicity, and ease of use. Both methods ultimately get you from point A to point B, but the journey and the experience are vastly different. So which experience aligns best with your preferences and trading style? Let's explore further and help you decide which path is right for you. So, which should you choose the auction house or the vending machine? If you're a trader who loves charts, precision and big markets, order books are your arena. If you want simplicity, access to new tokens or a quick swap, liquidity pools are your gateway. Most crypto users try both and use each for different needs. My advice, start small. Make a trade on a centralized exchange, then try a swap on a DEX. See how each feels. Understanding both will make you a smarter crypto user. The Crypto Bazaar is huge, explore it. Your journey is just beginning. Happy trading.